Hello and welcome to GXJ Aviation. In this video, we will be looking at what is the fly-by-wire system and how it keeps an aircraft safe. First, let's see what is meant by fly-by-wire. Fly-by-wire is a system which uses computers to move different flight control surfaces. It is normally used for the deflection of primary control surfaces such as the elevator, rudder and aileron. It may be also used to move different secondary flight controls such as spoilers, flaps, slats and trimmable stabilizers. The fly-by-wire system takes inputs from the pilot or the autopilot which are processed by different computers and sent to the corresponding control surfaces. This can be used to pitch, roll or yaw the aircraft. From the autopilot, electrical signals are directly sent to the computers which will process the received information. The inputs given by the pilots on the control stick are converted into electrical signals by different transducers that are installed at the base of the control stick. The transducers will determine how much pitch or roll maneuver is demanded by the pilots and sends this information to the flight control computers. The flight control computers analyze the incoming signal and determine how much the control surface needs to be moved to obtain the required output. The computer will consider different factors such as the speed at which the aircraft is flying, the altitude of the aircraft and the current position of the control surface. Based on these factors, the computer decides how much deflection is required on the control surface and sends the commands to the actuator accordingly. After the control surface is deflected, the computer receives a feedback signal from the control surface. The computer now has information on the actual position of the control surface. This is compared with the response of the aircraft. This is done by getting information from different air data computers which are connected to the aircraft's pitot and static tubes. This is extremely essential in flying the aircraft safely. How does the fly-by-wire system keep the aircraft safe? The flight computers are programmed with the safe operation envelope of the aircraft. This includes the maximum and minimum speeds of operation, the maximum positive and negative pitch angles, and the maximum bank angle. When the flight control computers receives information from the control stick or the autopilot, it will first calculate whether the aircraft will stay within its protected envelope or deviate out of it. When the computers determine that the aircraft will be safe, they will send a signal to the corresponding control surface for deflection. If the computers determine that the maneuver will not be safe for the aircraft, the computers have the authority to reduce the angle of deflection or even prevent the deflection of the control surface to keep the aircraft safe. So the biggest advantage of the fly-by-wire system is that it keeps the aircraft within its safe operational envelope. Even if it receives unsafe inputs from the pilot or the autopilot, usually some redundancy is given to the fly-by-wire system by installing two or more computers that can perform the same functions. The second computer would be on standby at all times and it will take over in case of failure of the primary computer. 
Since the information is transmitted electrically, the fly-by-wire system is less heavy when compared to the push-pull rod or the cable pulley system. The fly-by-wire system also makes flying and controlling the aircraft easier, so less workload for the pilots. Most modern aircraft are installed with the fly-by-wire system as it ensures that the aircraft flies and maneuvers safely. So that's all for my video on the fly-by-wire system. Thank you for watching and if you liked the video, do subscribe. And you can continue watching some of my other videos as well.